Hello everyone, my name is Raj Verma and I did my graduation in Mechanical Engineering from Dr. APJ Kulkalam Technical University with First Division Honours and recently I have qualified K2020. I have worked in a company named Radio Khetan Limited uh, in a, as a biogas generator power plant engineer uh, having installation capacity of 8 megawatt. Then uh, after that I joined Baichu's the learning application as a senior mentor in the department of physics then currently i'm working as a design engineer in a company named adb projects india limited mathura uttar pradesh i have two years of experience in teaching field and also i have been a professional tutor i'm connected with uh, teacher wala private limited personally i suggest that for students it's a very good platform to learn and to grow Many times I have thought that students are facing difficulties while attempting or while solving the physics problem, uh, whether it is from NCRT for competitive exams or HC1 volume 1 or volume 2. What is the reason behind that? Why they are facing difficulties in solving the problems? See, one thing is the bookish knowledge, and one thing is the practical things. Everything that is happening around us that is physics. From my point of view, as I believe that physics is nothing but it is the strong imagination or a strong observation and the application of simple mathematics. Okay, so if you will be okay with the maths, definitely you will be enjoy. You definitely you enjoy this subject. Believe me. And uh, students just mug up. Believing in just mug up or revising the formula and revising the statements. For example, see, physics is what actually that is happening around us. For example, friction, Newton's laws of motion, why apple fall down, each and every phenomenon that is happening in our day to day life. But uh, uh, our observation is not clear. We, we are not able to relate those things with the book is knowledge. What the students do generally, they just revise the statement. They just mug up the statement. For example, uh, chapter 1 of class 12, Coulomb's law. They just mug up the formula statement. When two equal and opposite charges are kept at some separation, then there exists a force which is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them f is equal to and even they just derive the formula in two or three lines f is equal to k q1 q2 by r square where k is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square but what does it actually mean what is the physical significance of this coulomb's law so so believe me, if you have taken physics, don't deal with what concept. Start think and start dealing with how and why concept. Trust me, I'm damn sure that you will enjoy while solving or while reading physics. It will be uh, it, it is completely an application based subject. It's an application of science. So, uh, as I believe, if you will be okay with your funda, with if your fundamental will be clear, your concepts will be clear, then definitely you will enjoy. So here, on physics teachers, Walla Private Limited, we have an excellent team, excellent mentor. We will guide you, and we will help you out in solving those physics questions, whether from NCRT. At Sivarma, NEET, IIT, we will help you out. Even uh, we will discuss some important shortcuts, some tricks, how to deal a uh, few questions, for example, pulley problems and each and everything. There are various topics that we will be de discuss later. And uh, so, just uh, it's a very good platform to learn and to grow. So, come join us and let's begin the race. Thank you so much.